Hello guys and welcome to the results announcement of the third RCT Minutes contest. For this contest everyone had to build a stall on a 3x3 map. We had 6 amazing entries so let's dive right in. The 6th place goes to Beautiful Monday with a score of 7.33. Beautiful Monday built this amazing pagoda selling fried rice noodles. The story reads, inspired by Skiffa's ride recreation contest entry, he is a Japanese pagoda in the evening snow. So this is an amazing looking build, let's go on with the 5th place. The 5th place goes to Lurker with a score of 7.71 and Lurker built this wonderful ice cream stall. Lurker wrote, I decided to go for this fantasy inspired ice cream stall, be sure to rotate the map to see everything. We can also see myself eating some ice cream right here. Some things that really stand out in this build are the rock structure at the bottom and the detailed interior of the building. There's also a couple of different workers that produce the ice cream. Once again an amazing build from Lurker. Now we actually don't have a 4th place but we have a tie for 3rd place. The first third place goes to myself with a score of 7.83. In my story I wrote, seems like the barbecue in my backyard went wrong, open the park yourself to see who came to the party. As you can see I try to build a nice little backyard grill party. In the middle of this build there's a hidden burger stall. We have lots of different people who are attending the party. Mantico is grilling the burgers while the brew and our Kirsch are having a drink. In error predicting a fault is arriving and is greeted by myself. We also have Enox drinking a beer together with Dirkling and Monsterbucks. Apart from that we also have Lopoli Surf who just got a burger, Lurker waiting in line, Beautiful Monday waiting in line, Savvy Adam who ate too many burgers and 94 Supreme Posse who's also waiting in line. The other third place with a score of 7.83 as well was made by the brew and it's this amazing underwater build. It has lots of cute little details like two fish swimming around. I'm also in this plot walking around up here. Inside of this building behind that amazing foliage is a fish food stall. After this amazing underwater build we'll have a look at the first two places and then I'm gonna reveal who won. So let's have a look at the build by in error predicting a fault. The story reads, I took the starfruit drink stall and completely reworked it into a multi-story dojo and tea house experience. Practice your favorite martial art form in the dojo rooms before ascending to the covered tea deck and recovering with a relaxing bowl of sensor or matter with a view. Or if you're passing by in a boat, you can move up to one of the waterside service windows on the ground floor. There's a small parade room above the bell tower too. Apologies about the bamboo infestation on the roof though, we're working on clearing that up. Stylistically I wanted to combine a little bit of traditional Japan with some more modern elements as if this was a building that has been constantly updated and adapted over the years. My favorite use of scenery for this was reusing the jelly beans as giant floor cushions and turning the little gravestones into tabletop menus. I've topped the whole thing off with an animatronic butterfly. Normally I don't like using the animated scenery in RCT but this reminded me of the 7 deadly butterflies of Shaolin from the Ninjago movie which I watch a lot with my boy so it had to go in there. So this was quite a long story but it describes a really really amazing build. As you can see we got the little water size service windows at the ground floor. Then we got some practice rooms up here. And then we got this amazing tea house. All in all, I love this build because it's so visually pleasing. The other build was made by Manticore and it's more on the funny side. As you can see Manticore took the fried chicken stall and reworked it into a proper chicken. Now there's a lot of interesting tricks used in here like the wild mouse cars as feet or the barrels as legs. We also got the duck shaped trees with an invisible trunk used as wings, the bushes as a tail and the snowball as a body. As I already said, this build is more on the funny side, but it's still really amazing. And the winner of the third RCT Minutes contest with a score of 9.17 is... In error predicting a fault. Congratulations on this well-deserved win. If you want to participate in one of these contests yourself, you can join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. So that's it for today. I hope that you had some fun and see you next time.